think it's fascinating because it looks very easy to use. It's a new form of energy transport, I think. Well, it looks like it's some kind of a material that conducts um, electricity. So you can just paint it and then that allows uh, the impulses to go through. It saves a lot of space, actually. Yeah, instead of you always using it to do the bracket thing, you know, doing like our HDB kind of thing, you just can paint it out. It makes use of uh, conductors like graphite or silver in the material which bind with a certain binders and groove so that you can use it to draw onto different surfaces. Conductive paint isn't an invention, so if I didn't tell you it was anything special, you would just think it was black paint. One of the cool things you can do with the paint is to apply it to a surface, turn it into a capacitive sensor, and then suddenly you've got this point of interaction. I will use it for my, actually, for my phone, actually. <laughs> Something to add behind the features for like, the back of the phone kind of thing. I use it for like all my appliances at home. All the wires will not like tangling out and then like it will be like, dangerous for the children. If I would like to use it, I would use it in uh, my home to, to create my own uh, energy circle. It's also an interesting way to introduce electronics to primary and secondary school students. If you fabricate a printed circuit board, you have to uh, get involved in chemicals which can be dangerous and uh, not so healthy. It's much more cleaner than using a printed circuit board. The drawback is because it's pain, so you need time for it to cure or to dry. And sometimes if you choose a material that is uh, flexible, then you find that the circuit may not work or it may break when you bend it. I think that our materials present the opportunity to reimagine the form factor of electronics. So you can have an interactive book, you can paint a, a light switch on your wall. That dramatic shift in form factor will encourage people to think about new um, places for electronics to live, new ways for them to work. I think the younger students have an easier access and they can find that they can experiment and try out things on their own and probably even toy shops, they will have this as a toy. You know, today we've got people who are bringing together disparate pieces of electronics and materials and creating something new out of it and I think if conductive inks and plastic electronics in general are more fully accepted, I think we're going to have cheaper, lighter, more efficient devices that um, don't look like electronics and I think the eventual outcome of that might be that we'll have a world that might not be so dominated by screens and specific localized points of interaction with computing but rather the computing will be diffused across a much wider area. Mm -hmm.